and welcome to today's oracle and tarot reading. My name is Renee. Hello. And we're going to do a collective reading to see the energies for the spring equinox and going into the Aries season. So this is really the astrological new year. And we're going to go ahead and bless the altar. I already saged the altar, but I want to go ahead and burn some Palo Santo. Okay. So we will get a collective reading. God, ancestors, Holy Spirit, Spirit team, those who are guiding us to the good and the collective truth. Go before me as I do this reading, and I pray that I have discernment and clarity. Please relay the messages that need to be spoken today. And so it is. Alright, let's see. Let's start with the Moon Goddess Oracle. What do we need to collectively hear? What do we need to collectively hear? Okay, we got the wisdom card here. So the wisdom card speaks a lot about the journey so far and all the things that we've learned up until this point. Okay. What else do we collectively need to know? Ancestors. Spirit team. What do we need to collectively know? Why did the wisdom card come out? Why did the wisdom card come out? Hmm? Okay. Ah, new beginnings. How appropriate for the spring equinox. So with we've clicked we've We've gained wisdom up until this point. Everything that we've learned, and we're entering new seasons, new beginnings. Aries is all about the spark of the fire. So whatever ideas you're wanting to pursue right now is the perfect time to do so. And know that you have the wisdom under your belt to go for what it is that you want to pursue. Okay. And let's go for the Halloween Oracle. Anything that we need to know... Uh, I like to work with the shadow aspect because it helps us to see blind spots that we don't see shine light on the dark aspects that need to be shown. So what is it that we collectively need to know? Any blind spots? What is it we need to collectively know? Okay. Or Brack. Sweetness is synergy. So this card right here really talks about uh, at each slice of this sweet, delicate uh, bar barbrack, I guess I'm saying that right, it's like a Celtic tradition, like there's a sweet pea, there's a coin, like you never know what you're going to slice it to. So this is being open to uh, new possibilities and expecting the unexpected. So don't hold so much expectation on what you're putting your energies into. Uh, Things might not look as they seem. So if you hit a brick wall or if you feel rejected in any way, this is really telling me uh, rejection is God's protection. There's something there that you're not quite seeing. Okay. I feel like I want to get a clarifier for that. Did I get a clarifier? Why didn't the Barbrack bar -brack card come out? Ah, the veil of the future. Okay. This goes back to saying things aren't as they seem. The future card, the veil, the future. Uh, the veil is thin. You can see, I'm getting like rose-colored glasses. Whenever you go for your new beginning, make sure you're making wise actions. It's about wise actions. You don't want to, because Aries is really all about that, you know, impulsive action. Make sure that the actions that you take towards your goals 
are wise, like not overly impulsive. So yeah, that's the heated message. Don't be overly impulsive. Really think about what it is that you want to go for. Okay, and let's get a card for the Tarot Muse. I love this deck. It is so beautiful. Look at that. It's so pretty. Okay. What else do we need to know with this reading? What does the collective need to know? What does the collective need to know? What is the collective? Oh, here we go. Oh, dang, three cards pop out. We got the Two of Emotions, just like the Two of Cups. Oh, the Six of Inspiration, just like the Six of Wands. And the Ace of Materials. Oh, yeah. This is about stepping forth in your newness. Stepping forth in your newness with your ideas, You've this is the time to plant the seeds, which is very appropriate because this is the spring equinox. So plant your seeds because... You have the confidence and capability to step out into the spotlight. Okay, and with the two of emotions or two of cups, you want to surround yourself with people who reflect your values. So make sure whatever new beginnings that you're embarking on, make sure that it aligns with your values and that it makes you emotionally fulfilled. And that way, when you're emotionally fulfilled and you can, you can have a synergy, and here's synergy right here, between like-minded people. Okay, now let's pull a card from my classic tarot. I love this design. I got it on Amazon. It's your classic tarot, but just a modern twist on the, on the front. Okay, let's see. Let's get these over. A tiny little auto over here. They got a lot of space. Anyways, now, what do we collectively need to know? What do we collectively need to know? Oh, goodness gracious. This one just kind of flew out of me. Oh, it's two. Oh, interesting. We got two major arcanas. We got the Judgment card right here. And we got the Hangman. So, whenever you're making uh, new beginnings, new decisions, this goes back to not being overly impulsive. Okay, so we are in airy season. We're having that fiery, oh, I want to get started. Starting on, you know, I got ideas and stuff. You want to be the spark of inspiration. But really, 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 make sure... It lines up with your values. You want to reassess. Make sure you're going forward. Not oh, like yeah, be excited and you know have that fire, that spark under yourself. But you know, like the hangman, he's looking at things from new perspectives, making sure things are lining up. You know, in his uh, with his values. So make sure it's lining up with your values. And with the judgment card, you know you're gonna have a clear judgment on how to move forward. As long as you line up with your values. That's, that's what this whole reading is really, really saying to me. And also it's like a resurrection too. So feeling resurrection, resurrected, like spring really is the time of the sun being resurrected. You know, the warmth is back. So yeah, we're having new beginnings. The warmth is back. It's a good time for new beginnings, but don't be overly impulsive. Make sure it lines up with your values. Okay, and last but not least, let's get a affirmation card. What is an affirmation for the collective? What is an affirmation that the collective needs to know or think about? What do they need to know? What do we all need to know? What is an affirmation? Affirmation is what this is calling. One, this is my true nature. One, this is my true nature. So that's bringing your entirety of everything that you've you've learned up until this point, your wisdom, all the lessons that you've learned. We're not fractal. We're one. So one, this is our true nature. We take everything that we've learned up until this point and move forward with confidence. Weighing the options, making sure, you know, things line up with our values. The soil is fertile. That's what I'm picking up. Take wise actions. Okay. 
when I lean toward love, I am led. So yeah, this is like, with the wisdom card. The wisdom card's really talking to me right now. And oneness is my true nature. And when you lead towards love, you're led. Yeah, don't be led with fear. You know, this is a time of abundance. This isn't a time of lack. Even if you're not seeing uh, your ships come in, they will. Just keep hanging on. Okay, one more card. One more clar clarification. One more affirmation. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's too many cards. Hello. Hello. Let's get this top one. Joy is the ultimate creator. Yeah, so if there's anything that you want to create and whatnot, focus on joy. Focus on what makes your heart smile. This is a time of new beginnings, and it's time to step up to the plate. Yep. Also, with these uh, two of emotions, I get, like, reflection. Um... It's like a reflection time, so let's see. What else am I picking up here? Have the confidence to know that you can make the right judgment call. It's time to trust yourself more. That's what I'm picking up on. Trust yourself more, even if the future seems like it's daunting. Even if it feels like you're blindfolded and can't see, there are new beginnings on the horizon. And with the Ace of Materials over here, which is like the Ace of Pinnacles, the ideas that you have, they will be uh, long-term. They will be in alignment with your values. Yeah. So, the soil is fertile. Step up to the plate. Expect the unexpected. Don't hold a certain expectation. Like, we set our prayers and intentions out there, but don't expect it to turn out a certain way. Like, your prayers will be answered, but it won't be in the way that you think it should be answered. Yeah. Okay. Anything else I'm picking up on? Let's see. Nope, I think that's it. All right, well, that was my first video reading. I hope y'all liked that, and uh, y'all have a happy equinox and happy Aries season, and y'all let your sparks fly. Don't be impulsive, but, you know, y'all got this. Much love. Bye-bye.